All right, we're live. Welcome. Wanted to do this quick video for you guys. Should get this done in about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, I have been flooded in my inbox this past week um, since the last two days with this Gillette situation. So I can't ignore it because the last time I got a lot of uh, messages and DMs was from guys about the Tinder fail. So if you're watching the recording of this in the top right of the screen, I'll put up the link where Whitney Cummings basically calls all men douchebags. Um, I don't know what it is with the uh, with these feminist um, marketing establishments that like to belittle and hammer on men so much, but here we go again. And I have never been inundated like I have with this whole Gillette scenario. So I actually went upstairs this morning because uh, it's been two days and I wanted to see what I have for Gillette products. And lo and behold, I do have Gillette products. I have disposable razors. Uh, contrary to popular belief, when you have a beard, you still have to trim kind of like up and around here and around the neckline. And of course, I shave my head. So I've got two Gillette products, which um, I'm going to basically throw in the garbage after I'm done with them. I'm never going to buy another product from Gillette again. So uh, to kind of answer that question from you guys as far as what my take is on it and how I'm going to respond, Guys, you can vote with your vote with your wallet and essentially buy from people that aren't going to uh, discriminate or become hostile towards men and masculinity. Um, what I'll do, gentlemen, I know there's some of you in the comments right now hammering. I want to show you some stuff, including the commercial and some feedback, and then I'll take any questions towards the end, maybe for a few minutes. So let me just share my screen real quick. Uh, screen share, application window, and... There we go. So you guys should be able to see that right now. Let me just double check to make sure you can see the screen. Can you guys see the screen? Just let me know in the comments that you're seeing what I'm looking at right now. I know there's a bit of a delay. Give me a give me a yes. You can see it. A okay. <clears throat> Harry's also ha hates men. I was not aware Harry's was also. Yeah. Okay. Good. So it's working. All right. So let's switch over to the commercial page. This is this is the commercial. I'm I'm not going to play the audio, but you can just watch. The visuals. If you haven't seen it, um, just look it up. It's it's actually number three on trending right now. And um, from what I understand, this this video was put together as a marketing piece for um, well, you know, Gillette from this, of course, feminist marketing company. And it and it just portrays men as utter idiots. Look, you know, grabbing women's bums, uh, these soy boys sitting on the couch, <laughs> this guy, you know, <laughs> and it's and it's like. You know, this dude over here with a hand on the shoulder of the female executive saying, I think what she's saying is this, boys roughhousing on the floor, boys will be boys. Look at all these guys over here. They always portray men as these bumbling idiots, you know, standing around the barbecues, a bunch of morons, and that's all they got. You'll notice here on the thumbs up and thumbs down ratio, uh, it's like way outstanding. P people obviously do not like this piece of content. I don't know if this is genius marketing or if it's the stupidest thing they've ever done. I'm, I'm leaning more towards this is dumb because guys are actually starting to wake up to it. But all of this piece over here, watch this. Handsome dude, you know, good looking girl walks by and she says, not cool, not cool, friend. And it's like, you know, women want men to approach them. They want handsome men to approach them. I mean, you know, saying that it's not cool to even say, hey, you're looking good today. I'd like to buy you a drink. Look at this. A couple of kids roughhousing on the ground. This is my favorite part. This is what boys do, fellas. Look, this is what boys do. They roughhouse. And then the guy comes up and he says, oh, that's not how we treat each other, boys. You can go on and on throughout the entire video. Go and, you know, go and watch it for yourself. But essentially what it's doing is it's, is it's saying that masculine virtues, male virtues are toxic and they need to be curbed. And if you're going to use these razors, we encourage you to curb yourself. Be the best you can be sort of thing. I'm going to go over to Twitter now because this is still trending two days later. It's still on Twitter as a trending ad, and you'll see a lot, oh, there's even 19 results since I opened this up. Don't be a douchebag. There's there's a lot of point and sputter going on towards men. WTF is the uproar over the Gillette ad. Hey, men, don't be a douchebag. And then there's obviously you know the opposite side <laughs> of these as well. Uh, we probably live in the shittiest era of all. Oh, everyone's triggered or hurt over everything. It's it's just one thing after the other after the other. Saw Gillette ad, loved it, loved the message. This guy's soy, obviously. Let's see what else we got here. Gillette ad, real James Wood said something great about that. I, I really enjoy following him. Oh, yeah, so now they lecture you about how to be a man. 
there's a lot of good points about that. I mean, you can scroll through it and see for yourself, but there's a lot of still hostile things, like basically saying that, you know, the Gillette ad is basically saying men shouldn't be assholes. But fellas, you're an asshole when you go and approach a woman, um, you know, that you see walking down the street like that, like really like that makes you an asshole. Like that makes you a bad guy to be a masculine dude, right? I mean, how else are you going to approach women if you find them attractive? It's what we've done for millions of years. Boys have always roughhoused for millions of years. All animals in the animal kingdom roughhouse, and they have done for millions of years. And now suggesting that boys roughhousing is a bad thing. Boys, it's not how we treat each other. You should talk out your differences. Okay, that's you know that's one approach, but also you know. Feats of strength have always been a masculine virtue. You know, masculine virtues sure come in handy during times of crisis and war. When the Nazis, you know, took over all of Europe and the Allies had to push them back, well, the Allies were embraced by the Europeans and France, you know, Holland, like all, you know, all throughout Europe when uh, the, the country by country was eradicated of Nazi infection. They were embraced. Masculine virtues were embraced. Today, they're condemned. So I don't have a long lecture on this whole, you know, Gillette nonsense, but I'll tell you what, guys, you have a wallet. If you're shaving, which all men do, even if you have a beard, you still have to shave. All men shave. Then just don't buy Gillette products. Um, I don't I don't recommend, you know, doing like boycott stuff because, uh, you know, personally to me, it, it's just a waste of time. I'm not going to go out and protest and get like a blue pussy hat or something like that. But you vote with your wallet, and when you buy shaving products, let them know that you don't like their product and buy somebody else's. In fact, uh, if if there's a shaving company out there that does men's products that's pro-masculine, that supports masculinity, you can email me, entrepreneursincars at gmail.com. I'm happy to take a look at it. I mean, you, you guys know that I've been a big supporter of uh, Scott, the Tactical Soap Company. He puts together a masculine product. You know, He actually supports the 21 convention. He sponsors my channel so I can make content. Those are the companies that you guys should be supporting. Definitely not you know, companies like Gillette. Let me just pop open uh, over to the chat here and see what you guys are doing there and see if you got any questions, see if I didn't miss anything. Because um, there's not much else to say, really. I mean, it's just, just don't use their products. And, and, and stay away from companies that do the exact same sort of thing where they condemn masculinity, where they condemn men, where they, uh, you know, chastise men, where they make fun of men. You just stay away from them. You don't use them. And if you want to tell people why, just tell them exactly why. Uh, we had a few companies that had asked about it. Yeah, we had a few companies that had asked about, you know, their their products. And there were some that even put discount codes together uh, for their shaving products like Boycott Gillette. So go so go out there and support companies. Yeah, Procter and, & Procter and Gamble is the big um, uh, problem within this. Let's see what, what companies Procter & Gamble owns. Procter & Gamble. Because they're the parent company now, aren't they? I think there was somebody that put a post on uh, Twitter about uh, all Procter & Gamble companies. I think you can search it, but there's a whole bunch of them. Man, they're in skin cream, dishwasher detergent, laundry detergent, shampoos, Downy, Febreze, Vex, Crest. Holy crap. They're everywhere. So there you have it, guys. I don't need to do a big, long video on this topic. I think that enough of you are intelligent enough to really decide for yourselves if something like a Gillette ad is it's 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 triggering to men and I get why it's triggering you know not allowing men or not allowing boys to be boys in rough house condemning guys for approaching attractive women I mean come on really that's like like that's your marketing story I'll never use another Gillette product again shaving cream razors anything and in fact my personal view is I'm also going to take a look at the other products that Procter and Gamble puts out and I'm not going to bother with them either. Um, I'll find alternatives because there's lots of them out there. So they just went and shot themselves in the foot. There you go. Uh, see if there's any questions you guys got for me here real quick. You can post them in the chat. <clears throat> no, nothing coming in here. There's a bunch of... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm done. Anyway, peace out, guys. We'll see you guys in the next broadcast. Uh, quick announcement for the guys in my men's community. I'm going live tonight around 915 
Uh, there'll be a Zoom link posted on our page. Uh, we're talking about getting to your first million dollars. I mentioned in a video a couple months ago that I think every guy should be a millionaire by the time they're 40. So um, there'll be some stories, some stories shared there for myself. And I think I've got at least a minimum of four or five other guys that are going to be talking about things like investing, real estate, and a few others. So if you're in my community, make sure you tune in for that. We'll see you at 9.15. That's exclusive only for guys in the men's community. Tomorrow night, I'm doing another live broadcast I'll have to create um, with B Rob, who's a guy that wrote a book called Salty. Um, and if you've read Neil Strauss's The Truth About Relationships, it's a book basically uh, chronicling his experience uh, doing sugar slash salt dating. Um, that's pretty interesting. And I'll be taking him behind the scenes from a men's community afterwards for some private Q&A. So thanks for watching today's video. Again, vote with your wallet, guys. If you don't like the product, and I totally agree with, you, with all of you, um, I want to thank you for sending me the DMs and the links and everything and alerting me to it. But after about 100, it was hard to ignore. So there's my take on it. Just don't buy their shit anymore. See you guys later. Peace out.